Hey art friends, today we're gonna draw another funny food. What are we drawing this time? Macaroni and cheese. Yeah, my favorite. Yes. I, I love adding extra cheese. And I also like adding hot sauce. Yeah. Like Cholula. Or Valentina. Or Valentina. Those are my two favorite. Those are really good. <laughs> what do our art friends need for this lesson? A marker, some yeah. paper, and something to color with. All right, let's get started. Chops. Oh my goodness. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> We're first gonna draw the top of our bowl. So we're gonna start right here in the middle of our paper and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down and back up. I like turning my paper sideways sometimes, that helps to draw the line. Good job. Now let's draw the bottom of our bowl. We're gonna start on each side, we're gonna leave a little gap also on each side. So we can put that in first, the two little dots if we want, and then we can it draw- It looks like a face. It does look like a it big a face. Big smiley, smiley. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a big bowl underneath, a big U shape underneath. Good job, that is a giant bowl, I love it. Then down here at the bottom, we can draw the little stand for the bowl so it doesn't roll off the table. So two lines, and then let's connect those two lines with another curve all the way across. Cool, now we're ready to draw the macaroni. Let's first draw a piece of macaroni sticking out from the edge of the bowl. So we're only gonna draw part of it. I'm gonna draw an upside down U. And we're gonna draw big noodles. <laughs> I'm gonna draw another upside down U next to it. This is the end of each side of that noodle. <laughs> then inside, we're gonna draw little ovals on the end or inside of each of the U shapes. Yeah, does that look like a little yes. macaroni? piece of macaroni. Now let's draw another piece of macaroni, but let's draw it upside down, and I'm gonna draw it over here. So I'm gonna draw an upside down U, or a rainbow line, and I'm also gonna draw a smaller one inside. So that one's turned upside down. Now let's draw a whole macaroni piece. I'm gonna draw it right here. I'm gonna draw, it's gonna look like a C shape. It's going behind this first piece we drew. And then we can draw another shape inside a small U, then let's connect each end with a curved line. All right, what are we missing inside of our noodle? The holes. Yeah, the ends. So let's draw a little circle or oval on each end. Let's do another one of those noodle shapes over here. I'm gonna draw it right next to this one. It's kind of coming out on the other side. So we go behind, we're using overlapping to make it look 3D. Now this one, I'm gonna draw another U-shape inside, a small one. This one we're gonna connect, but I think this one should be different. Let's not draw the circles inside of this one. Cause it's tipped. Yeah, it's tipped going away from us so you can't see the end of the noodle. All right, now we're gonna draw a couple more shapes, just some curves in here to make it look like there's a bunch of, a bunch of other noodles that are stacked inside. So we can draw two lines or two curves next to each other to kind of fill in some of those empty spaces. Okay, now I'm gonna draw right here, I'm just gonna draw an end, so an upside down U, and then I'm just gonna draw a circle inside. So that maybe that's just one end that we can see. And then let's come over here, I'm gonna add another curve and come back around, that was kind of tricky. So just drew an upside down U shape that's curving. All right, Jack, I think we should add a lot more noodles to the top of our bowl, but this part we're gonna fast forward. We're just gonna use all of these same steps to create even more noodles. Now you guys at home can pause the video to take time to add more noodles to your bowl also. Yes. <laughs> now that we got our noodles in there, let's finish the bowl. On the left side, let's draw this curve that comes up and then curves into the macaroni. There's the lip of the bowl or the edge and then we'll do the same thing on the right side. Okay, now we need to add a spoon or a fork coming out of our noodles. So I'm gonna draw two lines. First one coming out this way. Oh yeah, and that's cool that you're drawing it the other direction. Then I'm gonna add one right next to it. And then at the end, we can connect the two lines. So that spoon looks like it's just buried inside of our, our noodles. My spoon gets like really skinny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Jack, we're all done drawing our macaroni and cheese, but it's not very funny. We need to add something. What is it missing? A funny face. A funny face. <laughs> Let's draw two eyes. I'm gonna draw circles on the bowl like this. And your eyes are massive. 
I love it. And then inside, I'm going to draw the highlight for each of the eyes, smaller circle in the top right. And then we can color in the big circles, but leave the little ones white. Next, let's draw his mouth. I'm going to draw a little smile in between. And then I'm also going to draw a tongue because he likes the taste of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> and I'm going to maybe even draw a little cheek line over here. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He's eating He's a macaroni. Eating macaroni and cheese. <laughs> He's eating his macaroni and cheese. All right, we're all done. Except we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color it. Coloring is my favorite part of the lesson. Now this part we are gonna fast forward, but at the end, if you want, you can pause the video one more time to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, good job on coloring your drawing. I hope our art friends at home are gonna color their drawings also. It's so much fun. Yeah. We use sunburst yellow to color the macaroni and we use a burnt ochre to add shading to make it look more three-dimensional. We also use what kind of blue for the bowl? Non-photo blue. Yeah, non-photo blue and then just regular pink for the cheeks and for the tongue, but you just made it turn. Into macaroni. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah. Yours is my favorite. I wish I did that to my drawing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your macaroni and cheese. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you're not too hungry. And we'll I'm see you hungry. later. I am too. <laughs> see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.